This is the craziest AI I have ever seen and no, it is not ChatGPT. It is something even crazier than ChatGPT that I'm telling you, when it gets released, it will replace people's jobs. It's going to be absolutely nuts. You have no idea. And if you want to find out if you fit into that criteria, whether or not it will replace you, definitely watch till the end because it's scary, scary crazy how good this thing is based off what they show. So here it is called Adept. And I just went in here and I just clicked on introducing ACT-1. So they already have these example videos. Let me just show you how bonkers this thing is, guys. This literally will blow your mind if you haven't seen it yet. And it's what everyone was talking about regarding ChatGPT. So look at this, this is on Redfin. It's saying on Adept, find me a house in Houston, family of four, budget 600K. So look at this, it's on Redfin, which if you don't know, it's like a real estate website, look up houses and all that fun stuff. And it's manually entering in whatever you typed in on the prompt. So think of a ChatGPT, but you have it doing it exactly what you want it to do on your browser. Cause right now ChatGPT can't access the browser unless I think there's extension stuff, but like the actual self itself, you can't. So if I go to ChatGPT and say, hey, look, tell me a house that's 400K, whatever. I, it's just gonna tell me information, go to this website, blah, blah, blah. Adept, this is just one example. Check it out, look at this. Let's go to example number two. So this is, Salesforce, and this could work for any sort of onboarding or whatever. It says, add Max Nye at Adept as a new lead. So it's using Salesforce, typing his details, AKA Max Nye, company Adept, and it's automatically doing that. And now look at this, it's gonna say, log a call with James Veal saying that he's thinking about buying 100 widgets. So now, automatically typing this in, if you haven't used Salesforce, and whatever other program you need to have updated or put information in, it will, based off this example, go in there and do exactly what you need it to do, which you guys have no idea how crazy that is. That's going to be replacing so many outsourced jobs and work that requires the most basic, simple task that a lot of companies outsource, whether it's overseas or even having interns doing simple, basic tasks like this, this is, going to be absolutely insane once this gets released. Because right now, to my knowledge, it hasn't been yet. If it has, let me know in the comments below. Next one, look at this. This is a Google Sheets, same concept, Excel, and it's making a profit column, then make a profit margin column. And this is all these details. And it looks like, from my understanding, it's doing this automatically through the AI. And I haven't even shown you the crazier ones that I've, people, normal people that just want to use this for literal, making life easier, has nothing to do with business or numbers and stuff. I'll show you after this one, but look at this. Goes in Google Sheets, and I'm assuming this, you could copy this into Excel. I mean, it's pretty much the same concept. And it's doing all this work, and look at this. It says, show us uh, sell K18, total sales, and whatever details you wanna put in there, chicken nuggets, and look at that. It's doing exactly what if you aren't an Excel genius, you probably wouldn't know this or you have to research a bunch of videos, tutorials, take you forever. Look at that, Adept, supposedly it can do that for you. And this one, this one is probably my favorite because it's something that's more relatable. Look, we're on Craigslist and for people overseas, this is basically like an eBay, Amazon, Alibaba style, but this is more for like e-commerce, basically e-commerce website, buy and sell stuff. And it says, find me refrigerator under 1000. It's going in Craigslist puts in 1K, looks, it's it's literally looking through, the, like it's show, look, we just clicked on this right here, uh, Fridge 185, and it says, hey, yo, I don't wanna message this guy. Why don't you do it for me, Adept, and say I can pick it up tomorrow. Like, obviously you could go in here and type in, hey, I wanna buy this, but you could just literally straight up have Adept automatically do it for you. Look at that, can I pick this up tomorrow, boom. This is revolutionary. You have no idea how crazy it's gonna be. And these are just basic tasks it's showing. I'm sure once this gets released, millions of people are gonna find some crazy ways to use this. And this is, I was thinking the concept of this was similar to like, if you ever know, or if you've ever used like an auto clicker, if you ever played like games before, or even, I'm sure there's other, I think for like Apple, it's probably not the easiest, but for like Android stuff, you can just have things where like it automatically click something. So if you have like a basic task or a game, you have to like click stuff. This it's, it seems like this is what it's replicating, except it's much more intelligent 
because it, it knows exactly where to click and then you know click this type this which again ai crazy check this out and again with chat gbt it's this this one example right here seems almost just like chat gbt except more up to date it's more modern it's using supposedly the current website link whatever information is stating right here so it's saying how was the actor who played uh mace windu in star wars and boom from my knowledge unless chat gpt updated yesterday or literally like 10 minutes ago if it's still what it says last week chat gpt is only mod like it's only showing up to like 2021 so if i say like how old is i don't know the star wars actor and it's probably gonna say like who whatever but um let me see what did they put here who played mace windu who played mace windu and then it's gonna say i mean oh jackson born okay so mathematically this one but look okay as of my knowledge cutoff date it is 2021 so look chat gpt so far millions of users and it can only go up to 2021 so assuming this gets released, it does what it says, you're getting, I'm assume you're gonna get up-to-date information, which that's something ChatGPT I'm sure we'll be able to figure out eventually. And then again, we have even more stuff with Excel again. And this stuff looks, you know, same, typical, whatever you need it to do. And look at the difference. Here, it's literally doing what you want it to do. ChatGPT, if you're like, hey, can you make me an Excel, whatever, you know it's gonna say, go here step one open up excel step two type this da 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 and then next to you know it you got to physically do it so for example i don't know what, what let's let's just say something that it says here create a new column that checks if you can personally email so you probably can't really replicate that in a uh, on chat gpt because it's not specific to this uh little browser but still this is the craziest part and from my knowledge they haven't released this yet so if they do in the future watching this then you'll probably know but this was posted September 14th, 2022. And it's kind of crazy how ChatGPT was kind of in the works for a while, but no one really talked about it until you know it got released. This, I've seen some videos, but this is quite quite a few months ago, still under the radar. So the minute this gets out, I mean, game changing, literally game changing. And from what I understood, I believe it says it connects with the Chrome extension. Yeah, it's hooked up to a Chrome extension, which allows ACT-1 to observe what's happening in the browser and take certain actions, clicking, typing, scrolling. So the pros, you guys see the pros, the cons are gonna be very scary because what happens if you're on like your bank and then the, the AI just goes nuts and starts clicking and sending money to where it shouldn't be? That's probably the cons. So I don't know how that's gonna, if that ever happens, someone hacks into it, that, that's definitely dangerous, which I'm sure, I'm sure if they, get to a certain amount of users, some crazy stuff can happen that they probably weren't expecting. But this, this so far, assuming everything goes um, sunshine and rainbows, this is gonna be revolutionary. Just obviously the cons for this is very dangerous because what happens if it clicks stuff, does things that you can't control in a match? You see like the movies where they hack into your computer and you're like, you can't control anything. This literally feels like that. So I'm not sure like what happens if you click the X, you try to shut off a depth and it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't, then, then what do you do? So definitely there's pros and cons. Let me know what you think of the dangers of this AI once it gets released. And let me know what you think about it in terms of use cases, future careers for people. Because simple things like Excel, finance stuff, accounting stuff that they do is definitely going to be wiped out. And this is going to be automated. Everything's going to be automated. It's going to be crazy.